Hello everyone! Before we get started with this video, I just wanted to let you know that a couple of days after I finished recording this, a big new update was released for this game. So some of the things in the video might be a little bit out of date in terms of things they might have now fixed, but also a bunch of new features have been added and we're going to explore that in a future video. So for today you're going to get my first impressions, but just know that the rest of it is coming. Okay, on with the video. Hello everyone! There's something a little bit different today. Well, I mean it's still a farming game, but as you can see we're playing Harvest Days today. And I actually got this key for free from the publisher, so thank you so much. And that means we get to take a look into this game together. It's still in early access, and obviously this is not its final form, and I haven't really explored anything at all yet other than looking at the trailer and one or two gameplay videos on YouTube, but even then, I haven't really looked too much at the gameplay because I really like discovering this stuff together. So let's jump in. I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and we're going to obviously go for the new game at the top. Now we're loading. Okay, I'm praying my game hasn't just crashed. Okay, loaded in. Um, bit of a shaky start, I had to restart my PC because the game kept crashing every time I tried to start a game. But we got here. Now what are we going to name our farm? That is the question. You know what? Let's use the help of a generator. Alright, so this is like a farm name generator. We've got 10 options here. Click the button to generate 10 random names. Do we like- oh my god. Itty Bitty Farmstead. <laughs> oh no. Rooster Grange, I kind of like that. Mountain View Pastures. Rock Bottom Vineyard. <laughs> Sounds gloomy. Pinewood Range. Oh, I really like that. I think we're going to go with that. Let's go with Pinewood Range. My name. And I'm going to play as female. I'll always remember my childhood summers in Duda's Village. I love visiting my grandparents' farm. It's like this is the intro cutscene. Duda's Village was a paradise surrounded by boundless, untouched nature. I learned how to grow vegetables, nurture animals, fish in the river, and take care of our planet. As in every year, at the end of the holidays, it was time to say goodbye to my beloved grandparents and return to the city. In the city, I grew up to become an adult. I cared for my urban garden with a lot of love. Honestly, I miss Duda's village a lot. Oh, I love that. On any given day while I was reading the newspaper, a piece of news caught my attention. Duda's village was suffering the consequences of a rural exodus. The population had declined by 90%. To remedy the situation, the mayor was offering free housing in exchange for working for the resurgence of Duda's village. Looks like that's where we're going. From that moment on, I started my new life. There we go. Okay, so I press E for the menu and then go to journal. It's quite small, I wonder if I can change this. So we've got a new life. Everybody is eager to meet the new farmer. What are you waiting for? Introduce yourself to villagers of Duda's village. So there's 16 of them. And first steps, I need to use the rake to remove weeds. It looks like we've got some starter tools in my hotbar here. I kind of like the blocky feel of the graphics actually. The movement is a bit strange, if I'm being honest, but I suppose it's kind of realistic because in reality, you would actually have to turn around before you move in that direction, although some people are more agile than others. Anyway, let's go. We have a look at our house first. Let's have a look at our house. Got a little kitchen. I don't seem to have a fridge though. Our bed is downstairs in the living room, which probably makes for good not passing out. And upstairs, we've got this little space here. Probably good for storage. I think this movement is going to take some getting used to. Alright, let's open the door. I like that it indicates that to us. And we've got some mail. Damn, I wish I could hop the fence here. Oh, there we go. The entrance is only over there. I'm being lazy. What's in our mail? Peter. Hello, Emma. Welcome to Duda's Village. Here are five packets of radish seeds for you. Sow them, and in a few days you'll have your first harvest. By the way, at 8pm we've organised your welcome party in the village square. We'll celebrate your arrival with good music and fireworks. Who even is Peter? Okay. So we need to clear the weeds with a rake. We just start doing that here? Yes. Okay. So as soon as you walk over the square, it kind of highlights when you're able to interact with it. Cleared a little space here, and then I suppose I have to till them. And then I've got the chance to use fertilizer or seed. So I like that it indicates to you what tool to use to be able to interact with that tile. So I need to water it every day. Oh, I need to move my camera because I just realized I'm covering the tips over here. So maybe I'll just go to the other side. Oh no, maybe, maybe it will just stick me in the corner. There we go. I've got a tip about the mailbox. Check your mail daily as you increase your friendship points with each of the villagers, you'll receive letters, gifts and quests from them. So what's confusing about this at the moment is that I've obviously planted my seeds on this first tile, but I can't tell. I mean, I suppose it says the watering can instead of the seeds, but it could have been nicer, I feel like, if I could seat the seeds in the ground. But that's just my opinion. I seem to be picking up worms from doing this too. All right, let's give everything a water. And we've got three days until the radishes grow. Okay, let's check my journal. Use the scythe to harvest, so I've got to wait until they're ready, of course. It's probably a good time to go and introduce myself to everyone. What are these? Duda's mobility. We've got scooters? Can I use them? Oh my god. Don't leave your electric scooter anywhere after use. Make sure you return it to Duda's mobility station. It will result in a penalty if you don't? Okay. Ooh, what's this? Is that litter? 
Can I get off? Yeah, okay. Even for a second, I'm hoping I can do that. Empty aluminium can. Oh my god, I need to get back on the scooter. Eh! I'm enjoying this. The fact that I've got a scooter to get around. Go say hello to everyone in town. I feel like I should pick up all this litter though. Ah, uh, don't crash it. Found the general store. And I have 500 gold. I wonder if I should spend that on more seeds or if I should wait. Now I'm trying to see if there's a scooter drop off anywhere here. Let's have a look at the map. I do wish they were indicated on the map. Are they? So there's my home. Yeah, it could have been nice if we could see the symbols for the scooter drop offs. But that's okay. I'll leave that there for now. But I'll return it on my way home. Let's say hello to everyone. Can I talk to you? You have to wait until the thing comes up. I suppose talking to the back isn't the way forward. This is Matthew. Pleasure to meet you. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy goods from your farm for a good price. Hope to see you soon. Who's this? Amanda. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Amanda, a forest service agent. My job is to protect the flora and fauna of the forests. Take care. Everyone in the town square? You're not someone I can talk to. Oh, that's Rachel? Oh, I can. Okay. Hi, do you like animals? I'm the owner of the Animal Rescue Centre, a place where you can adopt a puppy or kitten when you feel like you need some companionship. Oh, I love that. There's a place to go instead of them just turning up at your door. What about you? You have a funky outfit. For some reason it's not letting me talk. Okay. Well, apparently I've met them. He looks like a mayor. He oh, it's Peter. First time I was elected mayor, 30 years ago, the village had over 100 inhabitants. Is that what you have to say? Okay. What about you? You look like a building inspector. Oh, what a surprise. Aren't you the one who just moved in? Welcome to Duda's village. I'm the owner of Duda's construction. I'll help you if you want to build a plot that's up for sale. Okay. You look new. Hey, there's a Michael. Hey, I'm Michael, a forest service agent. Remember to respect the laws and take care of the environment. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so do I recycle here? You can. Interesting. So, oh, you sell them. You get money for recycling, so I probably should pick up all the litter. Oh, I like that. You have to, like, take care of your environment. Right, let's check our journal and see how many villagers we've met. Six out of 16. I wonder if we stop off at the hospital. We can't go in. Okay, never mind. What about over here? It looks like someone's got another farm situation. There's a dude in a tractor. Say hello. Can I say hello? Can I talk to you whilst you're driving? Sir. Hello. Okay, he's mad. He doesn't want to talk to me right now. He's working. <laughs> what is this? This is the Founders Hall? What's in here? Friends of Duda's Village. This book contains the names of backers who supported the Harvest Days Kickstarter. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow, look at all these. I love this. I wonder if it's going to get more decorated as time goes on. But it's nice that there's like an entire monument in the game for it. Not going to lie, I'm loving just whizzing around on this little scooter. Oh, <laughs> nobody saw that. I'm glad you don't have damage penalties for it or anything. I think the scooter would have been absolutely wrecked by now. Right, is there anyone here I haven't spoken to yet? Probably shouldn't crash into the ranger, that would be very embarrassing. Oh look, there's a sign. Emma, welcome to Judah's village. I've already spoken to you. I suppose maybe waiting- Oh, you're new. Come back, stop running away. Uh, oh there we go. Heidi, hello, nice to meet you. Okay, not much of a talker. I feel like I've covered everyone here. Why don't we check out the bar? I like the little old school, like, saloon type situation. Discovered Kiko's bar. He's not here. <gasps> Brain game! Can't play it yet. I think that's coming in a future update. I think in the past couple of weeks they posted a devlog and it included the mini games. Here's a guy. Hello, welcome to our little community. It makes me very happy to see you again after so many years. Oh yeah, they know us. And you? Hello, how you've grown since I last saw you? I'm so glad you're here. I always had a special fondness for you. Oh bless her. The town square is getting more and more lively, but there's something eerie about the way that these people are just wandering completely aimlessly. So this is Rachel's house. Look how cute it is. Can I go in? I can. Looks like people like to sleep downstairs. I don't know how I'd feel about sleeping with a glass front door. Like the entire street can see you sleeping. Michael and Amanda's house. People just like to be able to see you sleeping, don't you? Yeah, I think after seeing this, I'm going to move my bed upstairs. I wonder if I can talk to the guys on the stage. Uh. <gasps> Damn it. No, I can't get in. Never mind. I'm really worried about this scooter. I wonder if there is a place in town somewhere that we can drop it off. Let's just scoop it up. That's a lamppost. Peter's mansion. I mean, kind of small for a mansion, but it's very, very pretty. Although I suppose people seem to have very tiny houses here. I guess being the kind of village that it is, that would kind of be a mansion. Also over here, we've got the blacksmith. I wonder if the blacksmith's in. Looks like everyone's got their own little vegetable garden if they live outside of town. There's a person. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm Anne, a mining expert. I'm the owner of the smithy in this town. So glad to meet you. Bye. Okay, that's... I guess that's my cue to leave. 
Let's have a look at the rescue animals. Oh, it's closed. Okay, so I can't do anything, but we've got a little kitty. And then we've got a few types of dogs. I do wish there were more types of cats, but all the different types of dogs are kind of cute. I definitely hope to see more cats though one day. I like the way that the landscape kind of changes depending on the direction you're facing. Look at that. We've got these like snowy mountains on this side and then as you go over there it looks more kind of like deserty. We've got like a massive waterfall in the mirror in the middle. Let's definitely clean up the town though as we go now that we know that we can get money for recycling. Loads of litter across here. We better deal with that. I do like the open world field and that there's really quite a lot to explore. What's over here? Ooh, what's that? There's a garage? What's in the garage? Wait, why did it close? What's in here? <gasps> a tractor! I wonder if I can use that. I don't need it right now, but maybe later. Got a horse, some cows. Oh, it's Lydia's ranch. I wonder if Lydia's here. If I can stop crashing into our house though, that'd be cool. There she is. <gasps> Look at the baby horse. I've just got a reminder about the welcome party. So it's 8 p.m. I like the fact that it gives you a reminder. Especially for people like me, I tend to forget stuff. But hey, let's go meet Lydia. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You can visit my ranch when you're ready to raise your own animals. I'll be waiting for you. Is that a pig? Oh my god. <gasps> Rabbit! They're so cute. No way are those chicks. Look at them! Very well behaved. <laughs> okay, I can't make it up the hill. Alright, let's head back to town and pick up any litter as we go. I what, what just happened to that bottle? Did I just crush it? I think I just destroyed it. Oops. I think what I'll do is I will leave the scooter here and just run into town because I don't want to get a penalty for leaving it out. Do I have to like park it perfectly? It makes me nervous. Oh no, okay. It automatically docks, that's helpful. <laughs> I'm not the most coordinated person. Clean up this town, why is nobody else doing this? I mean I'll take the money. There we go, back at the town square. Do some recycling. Oh okay, so you drag them on top of the like icons and that's how you get the money. Oh, down Z to dance. Oh my god. Everyone's- <laughs> Oh my god, what's going on with my foot? <laughs> I think I just broke my ankle. Those are some moves. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm a part of a flash mob. Look at the fireworks. I like the fact that this is something new that I've not experienced before in any game like this. <laughs> Let's go have a look at the band as well whilst they're playing. Look at them all. This is great. Is there anyone here we haven't met? I think we've spoken to everyone who's here. Oh. Okay. Party's over, I guess. <laughs> that was abrupt. Everyone just like, okay, I'm going home now. Maybe we'll collect some resources on the way home because I feel wrong going to sleep when I still have energy. Collect all these stones. I'm sure we're going to need these resources at some point and as we get further into the game, I'm sure energy is going to become a problem. So we might as well get a head start. Oh my goodness, it's getting dark so quickly. I should probably go to bed. What's this? <gasps> it's my oh, it's my shipping box. Okay. So if I have stuff I want to ship, I don't really want to right now. Oh, how have I paused? Oh, I need to get used to these controls. Well, bedtime. So it shows you how much you made for the day, your daily rent, zero. I wonder what influences that. And then what a summary of how we've done with our skills. So we've increased our farming, mining, recycling, wood cutting. So I like the fact that you get farming skill for planting as well as harvesting. And recycling is a skill too. I wonder what happens when you level that up. I like that there's like new different types of skills in this that I've not really seen before. Wait for the game to save. And it looks like we've got some mail. Got something from Sean. Emma, yesterday I couldn't attend your welcome party. I was fishing on the high seas all night. To make up for my absence at your welcome party, I'd like to give you a gift. You should go onto the beach sometime, we can talk for a while. I'll be waiting for you in my fishing store. A gift? Go check that out, but first, let's water our plants so you can see the little sprouts come up. Refill my watering can as well. I can't remember where it said you could fill them. Well, let's take the scooter. But we'll use it to get around the farm and have a look here if there's a piece of water. Piece of water? Like a body of water. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's where I refill it. Okay. Oh, I'm just being dumb. Is that a turtle? Oh my god, there's a turtle. Anyway, which way to the beach? Looks like I'm heading in the right direction. I suppose the palm trees kind of give it away, right? <laughs> See if I can uh, ride up here. <gasps> okay, no. We'll leave it here for now. I hopefully won't be too long. What are your crops every day? Otherwise, they'll stop growing. A good time to do this is at sunrise. I've already done this. But I suppose it's nice to have the reminder. I do actually like the fact that you slow down whilst walking up hills and stuff. Look at the fish shop. Let's check this out. Oh, it's closed. 
Are they open at nine? Okay. Well, we can just hang around the beach for a while and see what there is. So we've got a couple of fishing pits. Is that a shark? I think there's a shark out there. Look at that rock. That looks terrifying. Can we swim in this? We can. Uh, not very well. Okay. Okay. Well, it's almost nine a.m. Let's go and check the fish shop. Uh, where's the dude? Are you back here? Okay, well, he lives here. Maybe we'll check the boat? Okay, well, he's definitely not on the boat. Might just have to come back later. Oh, we've got a pop-up from Matthew's General Store. They sell various seeds, fertilised cooking ingredients and other useful items, and backpack upgrades too, so we'll go and check that out also. But first, I really want to find the fish guy. Oh, now there he is. What? There's a little quest icon. Hi, I was looking forward to seeing you. I'm the owner of the fishing store. Tell me more. Here's a tip. Judas village waters are full of life. Fish can be found in oceans, lakes and rivers. Some fish only at certain times of the day or during certain seasons, while others only appear during particular weather. Oh, that's really cool. Fish are classified as common, rare and legendary. The better your fishing rod and bait, the better fish you can catch. Please accept this simple fishing rod as a gift. With this rod, you'll be able to catch common fish. Although there's a chance you might catch some rare fish. That's great, thank you. Let's head outside and try and catch our first fish. There's a pop-up for the fishing as well, so to cast a fishing rod into a body of water, hold down the use tool button. A meter appears, indicating how far the line will go. Release to cast. When a fish bites, the bobble wiggles, and an exclamation point appears on the line with a distinct sound. Click quickly the use tool button to start the minigame. Tip, the best fish are caught with bait and fishing rods made of high quality materials. Let's give it a go, eh? Ooh, look at all the fish, okay. So I saw the little green bar in the bottom corner. Wow, that's a far cast. And now we wait. Look at them all. Oh, I thought they were all going towards my line. Is it because I don't have bait? Oh, nope, we got it. Okay, so this is looking familiar. Oh my god. Use getting used to this particular fishing. I wonder if it's gonna be Okay, it seems to like not quite move the way that I'm clicking, but it's okay. We'll we'll figure it out. There's probably something that I need to get the hang of. Let's try catching one more fish. Okay, so bait does make it quicker, and it looks like we can see the type of fish uh, each time. So it seems to bounce when we click. We've got a red snapper. All right, well we got a different, a couple of different types of fish. Wait, did the fish? Where did the fish go? I just picked up the herring that was on the ground. Uh, I seem to have lost my red snapper. Let's try one more again. Okay, Duda coin is the official currency of Duda's village. Due to hyperinflation in the surrounding villages and the rest of the world, the villagers created their own currency. You'll need Duda coins to trade with the vendors. So we start off with some. I'm gonna try getting this fish one more time. I want to see what happens when I reel it in, where the fish actually goes. Okay, so it said we caught a herring. Okay, so the fish kind of like flies and lands behind you. That's different. Well, at least now I know, but we seem to have lost that red snapper. But hey, what can we do? I suppose it's just little things to get used to with the game. It seems that when you reel in the fish, you full on yeet it. <laughs> Probably a good time now to go get the scooter into town and check the general store. Definitely want to go see it before it closes. Okay, let's go see what's in the store. Hello, I would like to buy some things. So we've got lettuce seeds, broccoli seeds. We've got the radish seeds already, so I probably won't be buying any of those. Potatoes, green beans, onions. Ooh, and then we've got some more expensive. Oh, these are trees. That's why they're so much. Maybe we'll buy one of each. You click on it to buy and then it comes up with a menu of how many you want to buy, which is cool. But I think I'm probably only going to be able to afford like one of each. And I'm assuming I can grow all of these because... Yeah, okay. Just trying to make sure that I can grow them in the right season. <gasps> There's coffee in this too! We need that. I wonder if I can sell my fish here. So you drag it over there. This local vendor is not interested in buying this item, so I guess I have to sell it to the fish guy. But I'm going to probably try and drop it into the shipping bin and see how much we get for it that way. We haven't used the shipping bin yet. There we go, drop our scooter back off, although let's put it somewhere <laughs> at least a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, it looks like we forgot to water one of these today as well. Maybe that's why it came up with a tip. Alright, how many seeds do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I need seven more spaces. I keep going to press escape to close the menus, but I can't do that yet. I saw in a devlog that they're going to be adding that, following some feedback, which is good when you hear that they're listening. Okay, for some reason, the menu doesn't always seem to work when I need it to. Okay, if I press escape and come out of it again, that seems to fix it. Alright, let's get our seeds planted. I quite like the animation for the planting, it's kind of cute. Oh, we can actually see the little seedlings. Maybe it was just me yesterday. 
Oh no, you can't see them on these ones. I think it depends on the seeds and where the tiles are and stuff. Okay, our last seed down and let's get them watered. Now I saw another farm had sprinklers. I kinda can't wait for that because I feel like the watering animation is very long. Which makes sense if you're trying to water it well, but I need to make sure that I'm standing right on the right part of the square, otherwise it doesn't actually work. So I suppose the tip is to make sure that the square is always highlighted when you go to use it all. Get this watering can refilled. Then over to my shipping bin. I throw that fish in there, so that's 80 coins, and it seems to... I'm not sure if it sells immediately. I don't think it does. Just made a sound that made me think it was. What's this? Oh my god, look, look at the little outhouse toilet, that's terrifying. I feel like I could never go in there for fear of spiders. <laughs> you can drink water? I wonder if that means that in the future you're going to need to take care of that need. Here are the cooking recipes I know as well. Got tomato soup, salad, and fried eggs, and it tells you what you need for them as well. Ooh, wild onions. Okay, well, I think that's everything I can do for this day, so let's get some sleep and move on to the next one, because I kind of want to see some of these plants grow up as well. Oh, we got farming level 1, hoe proficiency plus 1, hoe consumes less energy, so I like the fact that they tell you what that actually means. And we've got the hen house as a new recipe, so I wonder how we craft that. Let the game save real quick. And we have some mail again. Something from Rachel. I got news for you. New pets have arrived to my animal rescue centre. You should visit me. I'm sure you fall in love with some of the doggies and kitties. Give them the life they deserve. See you soon. Okay. We'll go check them out, see if they're the same ones as the other day. Or maybe it's just her telling me about the ones that were there. I empty my watering can. Okay, so it seems to take about 10 tiles to empty the watering can. I think it actually says that on the watering can itself, actually thinking about it. I wonder if you can upgrade your tools. There we go, and then let's go and say hello to the rescue animals. I'll take the scooter over there. I wonder if I might have to wait till 9am for her to open as well. Probably. Oh, hang on. There's a sign here that wasn't there before. <gasps> oh, there we go. So we can either buy this dog or that cat. I'm gonna buy the cat. Write a name. Gonna name it after a Pokemon. Litten. So it looks like it comes tomorrow at dawn. I don't know if I- I didn't really have a chance to read that. And now we've got a little tip about Kiko's Bar. Kiko's Bar sells drinks and cook dishes. It's always best to cook for yourself, but you can visit Kiko if you need to get out of a tight spot. Open 9 till 11, so I'm assuming that they sell food and drink that will restore your energy. I like the fact though that they emphasise the fact that you should be cooking at home. I don't also want to explore what's over this way. I'm wondering if there's like a mining cave or something. I think I saw one in a trailer. But I'm not sure. Oh, look at all the pumpkins. Isn't that the wrong season? Paul and Mary's house. I think I've met them already. They were that old couple, weren't they? Look at him and his combine harvester. Who lives here? Oh, this is Lydia's house. Okay. She owns the ranch. Let's have a look in the crafting section. So it looks like I can craft the hen house right here. So I need 100 wood and 50 stone. And it costs 2,000 gold. So I need to make sure I've got that. So it looks like we build it ourselves, but we have to put in obviously all the cost of materials still. Now, I really want to know what this is. Oh, so it looks like I have to repair it with something. Eight wood. I don't have eight wood. Do I have eight wood? I have nine wood. I don't have a hammer though. Do I have to craft that? Oh, we can craft woodworking bench. Oh, okay. I can't believe I didn't look at the craft- oh, woodworking- woodworking G bench. There's a chest, we've got a torch, and the scroll bar kind of misled me here because I thought that I could scroll, but it looks like these are the four things that I can craft. Got a pop-up for farm animals. Lydia's ranch sells farm animals and animal supplies. Hens, cows, rabbits, goats, sheep, pigs, horses, and even deer. Open 9 till 5. I can't wait to have some cute animals. Obviously, we need to get all the things built for them, so maybe we'll go and collect some resources with our day. Oh, it rained, so it means I didn't even have to water my plants. Could have done with saving the time and energy, but it's fine. I suppose it's not like it used a huge amount of energy. Let's see if we can collect enough wooden stone to make the woodworking bench. Oh, and in chopping some trees, we've got a pop-up about my energy, so I'm running low and sleep in the bed, otherwise I'll faint and have unpleasant consequences. It's okay, i still got a little. I want to just get enough wood to make this woodworking bench. I should be able to get enough. There we go, we got it all. So now I can head home. Oh no, where did I- oh. I was gonna be a bit worried there, because I couldn't remember where I left the scooter, but it's fine, I see it. Maybe in future I shouldn't pick the green scooter when I'm out in the wild. <laughs> Need one that stands out a bit. And I'm also praying it doesn't take any energy to craft things either, but we'll soon find out. There we go, parked our scooter. Right, now let's see if we can do it from this menu here. So we want to craft the woodworking bench. Then I'm going to hit craft, it costs zero doodle coins. Successfully crafted woodwork bench, or workbench. Where am I going to put it? I don't want to put it inside my house or not, maybe I have to. Maybe we'll put it in the kitchen. Alright, where can I put it? Oh, nowhere in here apparently. Oh, we can put it in this room though. Uh... Maybe we'll stick it next to the kitchen. There we go. 
And let's see what's in here. So I can make a chair, a rocking chair, an armchair, and some wooden fences. So I can section off my farm a little more or make a few chairs for my house. That's what we have so far, but I'm out of energy. So I'm going to get some sleep. And I think I'm going to call it there for the video, actually. I'd quite like to explore this game a little more, so there might be a few more videos on this. And then once I've got a chance to experience a little bit more of what it has to offer, I'll be able to give kind of a better review of what I think of it and everything. So far, though, my thoughts are that the movement is going to take quite a bit of getting used to. It feels a little bit um, rough around the edges. I do quite like the thought of the recycling and stuff and being environmentally conscious, though. I like the message that that does send. And I'm excited about the new different skills that we have to work on that are kind of different from other games that I've played anyway. But yeah, have you played this game before? I want to hear your guys' thoughts as well. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!